back with another video. So today we're going to be trying a little bit of fly fishing. And I am the world's worst fly fisherman. Really don't know a thing about it. But we're going to give it a try. What we're going to do is try to target some bluegills. Hopefully we can get some big enough to cook them up. Let's see what happens. Alright, so here's what we're working with. I don't even know what it's called. I did get it from a company called Lively Legs. It has the little legs on it, which makes it look really realistic. But I'm hoping that the bluegills find it appetizing. Well, they're going after it, but they're just small. There we go, we got one. Not exactly eating size. Let it go. I think get some bigger ones. These things aren't the biggest, but we may start keeping a few of them. We're definitely keeping this guy. Alright, so now we're going to try a dry fly. I don't know what this is. Like I said, I'm a I don't know much about this fly fishing stuff. I just kind of wing it. There we go. Another deep one. We'll be keeping it. All right, so we switched it up to something different. I think this might be what they're looking for. It's more like it. We're gonna keep this one.
<laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get these things cooked up. I tried to fillet those bluegills. Those things were actually way too small. I got real little thin fillets off of them. So two of them, what I ended up doing was I did it like I do trout sometimes. You know, you gotta cut the fins and head off and take the skin off so it'll still have the bones in it. But we got two of them that way. Then we got some uh, different pieces of flay. Now the crappie, got some decent flays off that. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna, first thing we wanna do is season them all. I got this seasoning recipe I mixed up. All it is is, is pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, brown sugar, a couple other slap your mama, I don't know if you've ever seen that seasoning mix. It's got a little bit of everything mixed in it. Usually when I cook something, I'm putting all kind of stuff on it anyway. So we're just going to put some spice on it here a little bit. And then what we're going to do, we're going to double dip these things. We're going to put them in the flour first. We'll just put them all in. All the fillets anyway. Put them in the flour, we'll dip them in the egg, and then we'll put them back in the flour. And that should make a little bit thicker coating, breading on it. And I, I know a lot of times when I cook stuff with breading, the breading ends up falling off of it. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. All right. It's one of that big fillets from that crappie. So now we're gonna we're gonna dip it in the egg. This plate. We're gonna make a mess. Put it back in the seasoning. Try to keep them all separated here. I mean the flour. Egg, flour. I'll tell you what, I caught a, quite a few of those things. They were, a couple of them had the hook pretty deep. I ended up keeping them. Some of them were probably about as big as I was going to catch out of that lake. So I kept them anyway. Caught a lot of little ones, let them go. A lot of them I was actually moving the fly out of the way so that they wouldn't grab it, trying to get a bigger one. Now I am very, not very good at fly fishing at all. I used to go a lot when I was younger, but even then I really didn't know anything about the different hatches or the flies or anything. I just basically went and tried to catch a fish, put different flies on, try stuff. That's something I wish I would have got more involved in, was fly fishing at a younger age so that I understood it more. But I never did. I just normally fish with spinners and stuff like that. You see a lot of my other videos where I trout fish with bait or minnows. But I, that fly fishing is kind of relaxing. It's a different kind of fishing. All right, so we got them double coated on these ones. Making a mess. All right, let's try these, these whole fish here. Tell you what, I think it was easier doing them that way. You could probably Maybe even catch some of these smaller bluegills and do them that way. I got another video. I'll, I got another video on how I clean trout, the skinless method. It's pretty, I don't know, it's not too hard, not too bad to do. But I know scaling these things, if you leave the skin on, scaling these things could be a pain. You end up with scales all over the place. I got more of this stuff stuck on my fingers than I do on the fish. All right, we're throwing them in the skillet here.
All right, we'll let them cool off, and then we'll give them a sample. All right, so now for the so now for the moment of truth. We're gonna try these bluegills. Pick out a piece here. Now, I always did think bluegill had a good flavor, especially compared to trout. And it does. It has a real good flavor. Try a piece of that crappie filet. Now to me, it's actually hard to tell the difference because of the breading and the seasoning. But it is very good, I have to say. Alright, I'm going to finish my meal. That's the end of the video on the Catch and Cook Bluegill. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.